And then of course there's the you know the more explicit ways of rewarding someone. You can give them badges and points. And you know that seems to be very common and popular today. In fact, some people disparagingly call it badgeification and pointsification, uh -huh. uh, where what ends up happening is that the learner focuses more on achieving the badges and the and the uh, and the points as opposed to actually learning what it is they want to learn. Um, so it sounds like it sounds like you don't like the badgeification very much. Well, you know, we recognize the uh, the value of it if it's used properly, and so we do use it, um, but we use it in a very effective way in that we only reward badges when someone actually demonstrates specific performance um, and a performance that you know that they can internalize and realize okay I earned that because I did this correctly not because I just did something but because I did something correctly and we also have badges that are earned and you can maintain them as long as you continue to do things uh, correctly correctly so so we try to you know use them uh, in a much more effective way than I think often you know, you see in, in these types of uh, experiences. Right. So if I understand correctly, you're saying if you get a badge but you didn't really deserve it, then that's not good because you just stayed around long enough or something like that. But if you get a badge because you demonstrated something that you really know, then it's a good badge. Th that's right. From a learning objective perspective. From an entertainment perspective, you might want to keep throwing badges at people just to keep engaged. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Although there are some, you know, there are consequences doing that too and that, you know, the, the player doesn't feel that they've earned and the player doesn't feel as though they've earned it as much they may not you know engage with the game so I mean, a lot of these theories are still up uh, up in the air today in right. terms of how they work best uh, and some people are trying to analyze them individually you know they're trying to analyze badges individually and points individually I don't think you can really do that I think it has to be a analyzed collectively in the context of the experience that you're delivering and uh, but anyway that's uh, that's, that's another aspect right. of it. Okay, so these rewards are they're motivating, and you, you talked about the kind of the the little rewards of um, of badges and points and that sort of thing. Are there other are there other sort of little rewards that you show people along the way? And I know the big reward is going to be your assessment eventually, but what's what's the, right. what are some of the little ones? Well, of course, you know if you're running a business, um, we try to measure and report on a number of important issues. So, of course, the most important one that people will focus on is money. You know, do you have money? Because if you don't have enough money, you're going to go bankrupt. And in our simulations, we, you know, you do actually go bankrupt. That doesn't mean it was a bad learning experience because now you've learned something effective and maybe next time you'll be successful. So cash, of course, is the ultimate one in a, in a business type simulation. But we also monitor things like employee satisfaction, uh, employee mor I'm sorry, customer satisfaction, uh -huh. employee morale. So, you know, are you treating your employees well? You know, if they only want part-time work, are you overworking them or underworking them? Are you paying them well? Mm -hmm. um, your, your customers, are you, uh, you know, stocking up in your inventory properly? Are you, are you pricing your products correctly? Uh, we even actually track, in some of our simulations, track personal stress. We actually require that you go home away from your business, go home and spend time sleeping and time with your family. Otherwise, your stress levels go up and you can get sick. And, you know, there's other consequences. Right. That we, so does that, does that boil down to sort of a set of gauges and, you know, you're in the red zone on stress and so, you know, you right. need to do things to fix that? A exactly. Yeah. So, you know, okay. sometimes we'll show dials and gauges, sometimes we'll show happy faces, you know, try yeah, to see. simplify yeah. the, uh, you know, this is called business intelligence these days in the uh -huh. corporate world. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's been going on in gaming for decades. Yeah. 